Hey guys, and welcome back. So today, guys, we're taking an IQ test because I've made a bet with someone. However, I have taken a test, one of these tests before, and the one I've taken was much, much more accurate than this one. The one I've taken was by Mensa themselves. Mensa is the group of people, well, it's actually, it's an organization which top two percentile of people only get in. I was one point away from getting in. Yes, I know. But I can't find the letter which shows you that my IQ, what my IQ actually is. But I did take a home test version of it, which is pretty, it's still the same. And it can fluctuate depending on questions, depending on the day, depending on person's mood. There's a, a lot, it's much more complicated than you think. However, let me just show you the Mensa home test I got. And I know this varies for age, but I'm going to go by my normal age of 17. But Mensa does the home test, uh, scores are off of everybody, so everybody's got nearly the same age, right? However, this was my score, 136, which put me in the top 6 percentile for this test, which, that's my, this is just a general test, uh, the home ones can't be verified by a professional, however, I have made a bet with someone, and if I win, I get a free pizza. I was about to say KFC, but we, because we were discussing KFC or Pizza Hut, and he said, I don't really like KFC, which I actually was about to say blasphemy, because everyone must like KFC. But, <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to stop blathering, um, and just get on with it. Yes, I've already read this. Be ready to determine uh, the time is, okay, the test is timed, so work quickly, but take enough time to consider each question seriously. Correct answers are more important than the time. Yeah, I wish I knew that when I was taking my test, my, my actual mental test, because you get someone in the front of the room that, like, invigilates it, but they tell you, all right, flick over now, this is, it's done, your time's done for this, but, but, I didn't actually know that that's, they just, there's more of a suggestion rather than a actual guaranteed thing, so I was done. Yeah. Because I followed what they said, basically, because I was... Did not do my own thing. Okay, anyway, let's go on with it. The word mineral can be spelled using only the letters were uh, found in the word parliament. That is true. Uh, triangle, glove, clock, bicycle, uh, sequence of numbers, 3, 5, 12, 2, yep, they all respond. 27 minutes before 7 o'clock is 33 minutes past, that's false. The word because can be spelt using the first letters of the words in the sentence. Big elephants can always understand. Yep, actually I used that to spell because when I was younger. If written backwards, the number 1,125 would be 5,211. Yep. Gary has only $48. If he borrows $57 from Jane and $15 from Jill, he can buy a bicycle that costs $120. Uh, Gary has only $48, $48, Borrows fifty-seven dollars, um, fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars plus forty-eight. That would be not good at maths. Fifty, sixty-seven. That would be false. Oh wait, no, that's true. If a round analog clock features numbers 1 to 12 is hung on the wall upside down, the minute hand will point to the right of the viewer when the clock reads 2.45. Depend that would also, uh, the minute hand would be at the uh, 2.45, 45, which is normally faced that way, which would be turned around to go that way. That's true. If the word quan is understood to mean the same as the word den, then the following sentence is grammatically correct. Looking at from my quan, I could see a wolf enter Quan. That is, can be correct depending on the usage. If Richard looks into a mirror and touches his left ear with his right hand, which is image seems to touch it, that's sort of reversal, but technically it seems, because it says it seems, that would be correct to Richard. If you leave the letter in the same order, but rearrange the spaces in them, in the phrase them eats on, it can be read as theme at sun troop. Each of the words auction, education, and caution use the same letters. Auction, auction, uh, auction, yes, 
Sean, Sean, Sean. Yes. John weighs 85 pounds. Jeff weighs 105 pounds. Jack weighs 115 pounds. Two of them standing uh, together on the scale could weigh 200 pounds. Yes, Jack and John on the scale together could weigh 200 pounds. Uh, the seventh vowel appearing in the sentence is the letter A. Uh, A E I R U. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, wait, no. It's sixth. And the seventh is E. Nine chi chickens, two dogs, and three cats have a total of 40 legs. Two dogs and three cats, they both have four legs. That would be equivalent of five times four, that would be 20. Nine chicken would have two legs, that would be equivalent of nine times two, which would be 18. 18 plus 20 does not equal 40. 16 hours are two to one day, as 20 days are to June's length. 16 hours. 16 hours. Um, if a six, right, 16 hours. That would be 16 hours or to one day. 16, it would be a difference of 8, but it would also be, I'm thinking of the difference in between, because 20 days are to June's length. June, depending on what, that would be false. Because it's not always the same. Wait, June. That's, why was I thinking it was, I was trying to, I was thinking it was February? What day is 20? Oh, I don't know. In the English alphabet, there are exactly four letters between the letter M and the letter G. No, there's five. The word tan is written under the word sly, and the word tot is under the word is written under tan, and then the word sat is formed diagonally. That is true. By removing seven letters from the word motherhood, the word home can be formed. Well, motherhood has, if I'm not mistaken, eight letters. Wait, uh, four, five, six. There's ten letters. It's not what I was going to say. Uh, eight. Hood. Um, home. You could form home, but you'd have to remove, since it's a four letter word, you'd have to remove seven. So, six. Not seven. If a thumb is a finger, then three gloves and three shoes normally hold 30. No, that would be 30. The word even how hand ever can be form, can form com common compound words using respectively one every finger more true don't know what a compound word is never learned that if monday is the first day of the month the very next saturday is the foot no that would be a friday wait no the first day of the month which would be the first the next uh, five days from that would be the six yeah three of the following numbers add up to the number 31 17, 3, that'd be 20. Um, 19, 3, that'd be 21. There is no way of possibly making that. That's a false number. That, that's a false thing. Fred will be four blocks from his starting place. If he travels two blocks north, then three blocks east, then two blocks south. That would reduce that to three blocks uh, east. And, and it would be back in the same spot, but only three blocks east. So that'd be false. Oh, I forgot to press it. The following words are opposite of the words that begin with the letter R. Unreal, which would be real. Uh, street, I guess road, but that doesn't make sense. Grasp, uh, release, unwind, relax, wrong, right, true. The following dis dis regard disregarding punctuation is spelled the same forward as it is backwards. Todd erased a red dot. Todd erased a red dot. Wait, yeah. The letter of the word sponged appeared in... Yes, that is actually true. I know that. 3724815 are read backwards as 5182473. That is true. The odd number is the, in the group add up to... Set, yep, that is true. Every odd number adds up to an even number. You can't make two odd numbers add up to an odd number. Without breaking or bending a toothpick, you can spell the word fin with exactly seven toothpicks. That is true. That is actually correct because it has that many lines. Uh, these sentences have 35, this sentence, uh, 4, 3, 6, 7, 8, 8, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Nope. A square whose sides each measure 10 centimeters can completely fit inside a rect regular hexagon whose sides each measure 10 centimeters. Hexagon, yes. Uh, six identical triangles can be formed by drawing two straight lines through an octagon center's point. Two straight lines. Um, that would be... Incorrect. The number 64 is the next logical number in the following sequence of numbers. 2, 6, 14. Okay, so you double it, then you add 2. Uh, that would be... 2, 6, 6 plus 6 would be 14, uh, 14 plus 14 plus 2, which would be 28 plus 3, so 30 plus 30 plus 2, which would be 30, which would be 62. False. Robert is taller than John, Charlie is taller than Robert, therefore John is the shorter of the three, that is true. The sum of all the odd numbers from 0 to 16 is an even number, that is true. In each of the seven... Each of seven people. Wait, what? That's not grammatically correct. If each of seven people in a group shook hands with each of the other six people. Wait. So each person shook hands with another person in their group. So that's basically. Uh, seven. That's false. Three congruent regular hexagon can be drawn in such a way that all of them overlap each and create more than six distinct areas of, or compartment. Uh, that is true, I believe. If a donut shaped house was house has two doors on uh, has two doors to the outside and three doors to the inner courtyard, then it is possible to end up back at the starting place by walking through all five doors of the house without ever walking through the same door twice. If a donut shaped house has two doors to the outside and three doors to the inner courtyard. Um, two doors to your house. That would be... Physically possible, yes. Stop timer. Just gonna blank this. I didn't realize that this bit there was up and it's automatically filled in for me. Um, okay, I'm just gonna blank out my email. Uh, okay, email. And my IQ test has been sent. Okay, now I'm gonna cut away here and I'm gonna show you guys my IQ just so you don't see my email or details like that. All right guys, and we're back. Okay, so this is the uh, IQ test, which I got back from the um, general IQ score place thing. However, if you guys remember, I showed you at the beginning, I got an IQ, my IQ was 136, which put me in the top 6th percentile. However, this one, the general IQ score, even though it given it was in, uh, a little bit inaccurate because I'm obviously not doing it the way I would normally do it because I'm trying to make it a little entertaining. Yes, I know I'm not entertaining, but... <laughs> okay, um... What I was going to do, oh yeah. Mensa average wait okay Mensa wait Mensa I meant uh, average IQ score okay that's so that would put me just above average but my Mensa one which is given much more accurate because it is Mensa uh, puts me as gifted I'm happy with either of those two. That makes me feel pretty happy. I'm smart. Nah, I'm just kidding. I uh, can understand a problem. But, 
Oh well. Anyway, guys, if you. Ooh, shit. Whoops. Anyway, guys, if you like this content, I mean, this was a bit of a different thing I did today. But if you guys like this, remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, or just even one of those. Anyway, uh, just keep being you, and I'll see you guys later. Lifetime in repeat.